Packers, Aaron Rodgers, this is the inevitable. And so what does this do for his fantasy, for sportsbook odds on the DK Sportsbook? What do you make of the whole thing? I mean, congratulations to anyone who took a Packers future the past two weeks. Um, <laughs> look, it's I don't want to say this was the expected outcome, but I don't think anyone actually thought he was retiring, right? I mean, this is someone who just won the, the MVP. This is someone who led football in touchdown rate in adjusted net yards per attempt last season. Uh, you know, this is a Packers team that was first in DVOA uh, or offensive DVOA last season under Matt LaFleur. Like it just seemed like everything was kind of starting to come together. Um, I don't really think this changes my opinion of the Packers in terms of them being a legitimate Super Bowl contender. I just, I don't really trust this team late in the playoffs. However, I will say right now they are minus 130 to win their division. And that to me seems like a pretty good bet. Uh, I, I just don't really know who the second best team in the NFC North is. I mean, I guess there's a chance it's the Vikings, but there's still a huge Kirk Cousins factor there. You've got the Bears still kind of figuring out who their quarterback is going to be this year. Do they waste six weeks with Andy Dalton behind center? I don't know. It's a possibility. But if you go by last season's advanced metrics, the Packers were so clearly far and away the best team in that division. Minus 130 doesn't seem all that steep a price to pay. So I guess that's where I'm looking now that we know Rodgers is going to be playing in 2021.